think that you've managed to understand what Christians say about this. No, you know, you don't understand. You know that. You know that. Shall I tell you what we mean? Tell me what you mean. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'm on the front. It, 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 about them all being equal. I'm all being equal. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. We talk about an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, as ontological, where did you get that from? Ontological. Oh my gosh, are you really going to use that stupid logic? Show me Taweed in the Quran. Show me the word Taweed in the Quran. There's one God. Show me the word Taweed in the Quran. But there's one God. Show me the word. You just objected to me using the word ontological because it's not in the Bible. But you can't show me the word Taweed in the Quran. That's called a double standard, bro. People in glass houses should not What is one God? So, so, no, so what you're saying, ah, so you're saying it's the concept then. If the concept is in the Quran, it's trying to use the word. No, 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 yes, no, yes. Where's this amazing Islamic logic that you were boasting of two minutes ago? You're just contradicting yourself. You know, if you get four or five different Christians which have different beliefs, in the you mean like the Muslims in the park? No, what I'm trying to say is the Shia and the Sunni, yeah, and the Quran only Muslims. Well, I'm trying to say yeah. if you're going to get difference of opinion. Exactly, but I'm because talking. we're not all scholars. Are you Sunnis? We're Muslims. Sunni or Shia? We're Muslims. Sunni or Shia? We're Muslims. Do you, do you, do you follow any sect of Christianity? I'm a Christian. Oh, you do you follow any sect? All Christians are disciples of Christ. Are you missionary, evangelist? You do missionaries. You don't. You see, you're just using words no, you don't I'm know. No, I'm not a scholar. You're just you're using scholar. words you don't what know. You? So if you're not a scholar of Christianity, why are you trying because to criticize the Christian faith? We're not having a debate on scholars. We're just having a conversation. So, once you, did you, you even did you even hear what I said? You asked a specific question. I gave a specific answer. So, so what? Because he keeps interrupting. So I have to raise my voice. If your friend, if your friend doesn't shout, I won't have to raise my voice. Okay, go on. There you go. So, let me let's ask. just relax. It's just a conversation. So, so let's do this again, right? You asked a question about how is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit equal? I said that we Christians believe in an ontological equality. Do you even know what the word ontology? No, no, because I've never seen no, no, it. Like, no, and don't go. I've never heard that. Don't go. Because you know what your script said. Your script said, "Well, I've never seen that in the Bible." No, not the Bible. As in, I've never heard I've never Christians say that. As in, like, okay, then you need to go and no. you need to go and listen to some educated Christians. You need to go and listen to some educated Christians. Is Jesus God? No, no. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. So, no, because I'm still trying to answer his question. I'm still trying to answer his question. But you, you, it's like you, you know this, you know this, you know this amazing Islamic logic that you were boasting of from a Christian system like two minutes ago. You said your very words were, we use logic, you don't. That's what you said. One of you guys said it, I remember hearing it from one of you. One of you guys definitely said it, that's why I jumped in. So this amazing Islamic logic Okay, let's, let's try and use logic. Let's try and use logic. Let's try and use logic. that and we saw that Islam failed. Jesus so, God. no, I'm answering his is question. Jesus God. Is so, do you want me to answer your question? Okay. Unfortunately, okay. no, I'm going to answer your question. No. Okay. <laughs> you're going to answer you're your question. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. You are. Yeah. I'm going what to answer your question. question. Why is it you ask questions but you don't want to hear the answer? Oh, that's 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 it. It. Why is it you ask it's questions it's but you don't answering. want to hear it's the answer? It's because they're afraid of truth. Exactly. Yes, because they're afraid of truth. But what they do, Muslims like this, they go around lying about Christianity to all and sundry like their friend there. They'll lie to him about Christianity. Lie to you. Talking about Christianity, comparing Christianity Islam in a negative sense. We follow Christianity. That's a lie right there. We follow Jesus. That's another lie right there. You don't even call him Jesus. You call him Isa. So that was a lie. You don't follow Jesus. So no, we get we Jesus was Jesus. Now notice, notice, notice. And this is what happened. 
they ask a question, and then when you try to give an answer that triggers the next part of the script, all they want to do is jump to the next part of the script rather than deal with the answer you're giving. So you asked a question. Let's go back to that question. Do you want to go back to the question you asked at the beginning? Let me ask you a question. Yes. But it should be easy. Why should it? Why should it? Yes. No, no. Are you saying that? Are you saying that logic is always simple? Are you not saying logic is always simple? Are you saying that logic is always simple? Good, because I would have embarrassed you had you said so. There is a reason why people have to use logic. Because logic is not always simple. No, I think, bro, people who have a superiority complex and who speak down to my Christian sister saying that we Muslims use logic, you don't, can't now to a Christian about ego. You need you need to check your ego. Shall we go back to the question? Shall we go? Your friend, a reliable witness. So, so, so I assume that you were with these guys. Are you not? I apologize. My apologies. That's my assumption. My bad. So let me ask you this question. So we're going to go back to your question. We're going to go back to your question. Okay. Your question was about the, the way in which the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are equal. And I said that we Christians teach, believe, and preach an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And just to demonstrate that I was listening to you, unlike you listening to me, your objection was then, well, where was that in the Bible? Where's that word ontology in the Bible? And then I said to you, and then I said to you, and then I said to you, that that doesn't even make logical sense because Muslims can't find the word Taweed in the Quran, but you believe it. So the question is not whether the word ontological equality. The question is not whether the word ontology appears in the Bible, but the idea of ontology okay, appears in the Bible. Okay, let's not get too now, complex. I'm so let's break, break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you. As I say, I get through this a lot quicker if you stop interrupting. But because you keep interrupting, I keep having to start again. So what you need to do is you need to ask the question, wait until an answer is finished, and then ask the next question. Not keep interrupting me, and then force me to lecture you about the manners of not interrupting to the answer of a question that you ask. Interrupting. So let's do this again. What does ontology mean? You don't know. Of course you don't know, because you've never sat with a learned Christian. Onto means being in Greek. Ology means to speak about being. So when we say we believe in an ontological equality between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are saying that they are made of the same thing at exactly the same time. Without division, without partners, without separation. Separation. It is that way. We teach, listen, we teach that in relation they are not equal. So that the way that the Son relates to the Father is as a Son. And the way that the Holy Spirit Re um, relates to the Father is as you say under his authority that's orthodox Christian teaching so you're trying to use orthodox Christian teaching as a criticism of Christianity it does not work now you can talk it depends how many times you interrupt me. You're asking a question, I'm going to give an answer. And look, he's interrupting already. He just can't control himself. And now he's interrupting. So, 
Hey, brother, if you ask the question, you have got to make the answer. We have to force a conversation. We have to educate the Muslims in the pod all the time about what conversation is. All the time. I ask you, I ask you, I'm going to answer. Jesus So I'm going to answer your question. We're going to answer your question. Yeah. You see, this brother is not even interested in it. At no point is this brother engaged in the conversation. This one, with the baseball cap.